Well, good morning, everybody. Todd here. Welcome back to the channel. As I stated in the last video, I had a huge upgrade to remedy the problem with us breaking our trailer lights all the time on the little tilt trailer. So today I'm up early, heading on a little journey to see what we can do about that. Stay tuned. Beautiful start to this day. It's October 1st, and it was 37 degrees when I left the house. My sidekick, Evan, he is out in a tree stand with a bow in hand for the Illinois bow hunting opener. And I uh, am heading about two hours north up in the middle of Illinois here on a little road trip. this place Midway trailer sales looking for this upgraded light system and they did not have it so we are heading another hour north of where this uh, trailer sales is to uh, another place I think they got what I'm looking for well it's now seven o'clock a little after seven here had to stop little pit stop for a coffee refill and to pick up little Debbie here we go back on the road so all right everybody uh, as you can see the Sun is up nice and bright it's uh, just before 8 o'clock here I've got about uh, 30 more minutes here to drive so you might be asking, hey, Todd, why are you driving two hours to go get these special lights you're looking for? Well, simple, because I couldn't find anything on Amazon that I was looking for. And uh, you know what? I'm just taking a little drive, getting out, checking some stuff out. Heck, you never know. I might see some firewood or something along the way. But uh, yeah two hours north of the house and uh, at least this place had what I was looking for so uh, probably won't do any filming when we get there um, I just don't like getting the camera out and putting it in people's faces so uh, once we get there get this package picked up I will uh, see you back at the house and uh, show you what we got so hey thanks for coming along i know this video was kind of weird to start off but uh pitch black this morning when i left the house but what a beautiful day so appreciate y'all coming along with me here it's like we've made it to our destination say they're gonna have just the parts I need I think these lights are gonna work out just fine all right everybody uh, Kate's cars and trailer sales had just what I needed so we're headed back home see you when we get there all right everybody one last pit stop on the way home had to stop by Casey's breakfast burrito some dessert and coffee they were out of Arnold Palmer's not very happy with Casey's right now so all right on our way back home here it's kind of a long drive thought I'd check back in with y'all uh, 
corn is really coming out here in central Illinois. I've already driven by four or five corn fields and also some bean fields that are getting uh, harvested already. A lot of flat, flat country up here. That was a little bit of a trip here for uh, some new trailer lights, but I already know they're going to work out great. There's another cornfield here. They probably harvested some silage off of it to feed cattle. Sometimes they do that on the outside rows. A lot of dairy farms up in this area, so. Gonna continue driving here. I got about another hour and 20 minutes. So here's one downfall to traveling through the country during the harvest. Early this morning, I didn't have much trouble with uh, tractors and combines and grain trucks, but pushing uh, 11 o'clock now and we're starting to see some uh, traffic that's slowing me down. It'll take a little bit longer to get home, but that's okay. And here we go again. It's all part of it during harvest. Tractors, combines, they're just making this equipment bigger and bigger. I don't know how these guys drive these up the highway. A thing up there is taking up both lanes of traffic. He's literally running his duels down the ditch to stay out of the road with his uh, header. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's a big combine up there. Well, we've been going about 20 mile an hour now for probably five miles. big combine Let's see if we can't get around him here problem is if there's any kind of bridge or anything when you start to go and he has to come over it's it pretty scary All right, everybody, back home safe here. Got my upgrade in hand, and we're gonna get it put on. Man, that sun's horrible. Sorry about all that. We're gonna get it put on the trailer here. So I got my uh, sidekick Evan out here. He's back from bow hunting, and uh, he's gonna do the camera work for me. So stick with us. All right, everybody, like I said, I've uh, been looking to do an upgrade on the six by 10 trailer here, which we've always used for firewood. And uh, uh, like I said in the last video, about a month ago, I wasn't paying attention and backed into this very light and busted it. And then I ordered a new set off Amazon. And when we was picking this maple up, my man Evan here behind the camera had wet gloves he went to throw a piece of firewood in the trailer and just smashed the crap out of this light again. So today's trip was to go get the upgrade. And uh, I'm back. It was a little bit of a drive, but I think it's going to be worth it. So I'm going to get this light switched out, this upgrade done, and bring you all back when we're done. So stick with me. All right. I think that's going to do it. Upgrade complete. Guys, I think you've all got it figured out by now. That trip was not to replace lights, although I got new ones. That was to upgrade. I finally did it. I'm super excited to uh, 
show you guys the new wood yard toy this has been a long time coming and uh, I am so excited to put this thing to use so we're gonna give you a real quick walk around just real quick and uh, we'll probably do a more in-depth review in the next video but I got Evan behind the camera and if we can do it in this sunlight without getting too blurred We'll give you a real quick look. Man, this is my brand new 2023 7x14 Lamar dump trailer. And like I said, guys, I have been wanting one of these for about three years now. And it finally came together for me. So, picked it up this morning. I would not drive two hours to get a set of lights, but... Uh, definitely was worth it driving up there for this so i looked at probably six or eight different brands over the last month month and a half and i settled on lamar and like i said we're going to give you a real quick walk around but as you can see this trailer is built very beefy it's got an eight inch i-beam construction way bigger than most of the trailers i've seen um very heavy duty front jack system here. It's got the tarp system up here already installed. I did add a spare tire this morning. That was extra. It's got your three way door, spreader gate, barn style doors, and just everything about it so far. I really, really like. Um, one thing that uh, was the selling point for this trailer was that right there. This has got a seven gauge steel, one piece floor in it. There is absolutely no seams in this seven by 14 dump. It's got grease zerks on everything that moves. The doors, the ramps, everything. This trailer just had everything on it got the rear stabilizer jacks was already on it very very heavy gusseted sides with tie down hooks in each area it's got the step to get into the trailer just very 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 well built a very heavy front jack system on it with the spring loaded so you're not cranking all day long and then when you get there you crank up it and it pops back up just everything about this trailer i liked and it was also the gray dark gray color which i really wanted and like i said we're going to give a more in-depth um, view of this trailer as we get to using it another thing i did like that i could not find on most trailers it's got this huge box up here in the a-frame area so you can keep the pump the battery everything that's important is in the back side but you've also got this front side here for toe straps chains whatever you need that way you never take the chance of getting a toe strap lay across your uh, battery terminals back there and shorten your system out that could cause fire and everything else uh the only thing that uh i was looking for in a trailer that i did not get i did want the front telescopic lift this trailer did not have that, but I'll raise it up. And what it, what the second uh, most important style lift I wanted was the scissor lift. And that's what this trailer's got. So let me raise it up just a little bit. Like I said, it had the heavy duty scissor lift. I went back and forth on what I wanted. I either wanted the front telescopic or the scissor. Uh, at the end of the day, I found this trailer with a the scissor. They did not have any front telescopic, but I did talk to a couple of the guys and they said they actually prefer the scissor lift better because of that wide, um, I guess wide attachment point underneath it there it kind of makes the trailer more stable and as you see here 
the trailer is a drop frame so the i-beam frame this trailer actually rests on top of this i-beam frame and then all your supports go down inside of the frame which gets your deck height lower i did like that it did have the at home 110 charger and another thing that i really liked about this trailer that was very important is that most trailers have uh uh power up power down this trailer actually has power up power down but it also has a gravity down option and i'll just go ahead and push that gravity down and gravity just pulls the trailer down all you're hearing is the reservoir pump and pump over here letting the pressure off so that is a battery saver right there and that's one thing i wanted the front telescopic lift for is because all your front telescopic lifts are gravity down which saves on your battery so like i said guys super super excited to get to use this thing it's been a long time coming and if we're going to continue to do firewood, I have to save what's left of my body. I have a very physical demanding job at work. And uh, when I come home to have fun in the wood yard, i got to do what I can to make it easier. So, yep, this is it. A more in-depth view will be in a later video as we get to using it. So, guys, I appreciate you riding along with me today on my little trip. I know I was trying to trick you, but I think most of y'all had it figured out by the middle of the video. Uh, so, like I always like to say, until next time, get outside. See ya.